hello guys today we are going to be looking at midway free part a for cbt and i would like to say that every question i'm going to tackle today is coming from the piercing view website i did not get it from anywhere um i want to emphasize that i don't have any other material for numeracy everything you'll be seeing here is coming directly from piercing view website i'm going to make sure to drop the link in the description box or the comment section so that if you don't have it you can check there and then you just use the link and then go there and practice the questions as well okay so looking at the question the first one is saying that what is the volume that has been drawn up into the syringe please use the correct unit and write your answer to one decimal place okay so as you have read the question um, i would like to take us back to say this that you have to go by every instruction that comes along with the question if not you are going to have the some of the answers wrong so ma do make sure to read all the instructions that is attached to each question so they are asking us to provide our correct unit and then also asking us about the um, fluid that has been drawn in the syringe okay so looking at the calibrations we can see that each one mil there is a 0 0.5 calibration okay so if you are to start from the bottom that you will see that the figure we will have is 9.5 mil so you see that from 9.5 then you are going to 10 so you should always start from the bottom so that you're able to read the calibrations in order, not, in order not to have your answer wrong. After you are able to get that answer, the instruction is also telling us to provide our correct unit. Okay, and then we have already gotten our one decimal place. That is the 9.5. So in the box that has been provided below, you just write in your answer 9.5 mil. So also look at the way the mail is written you find that the m is small letter and the l is a capital letter you can also find the same thing in the syringe that they have provided you see that that is the way they have also written it you can go by also leaving a space in between your the figure and the unit or you can combine them so in my answer provided you see that i left a space in between the 9.5 and the mail it doesn't matter what matters is for you to write the correct unit. So you just leave one space in between the 9.5 and the mil. You can as well close the gap. Just 9.5, there will be no space and then you just add your unit. So that is that for our first question. Okay, so moving on, let's go to the second question. So the qu second question is also saying that what are, what is the volume that has been dispensed please use the correct unit and write your answer as a whole number okay so looking at the container here the calibrations if you agree with me have a five interval between them so the trick here is have a look at the darkest part of the container okay the solution inside the container don't measure from where you see it starting from let's say 21 or so that is the lighter side of the solution just look at look at the darker side of it so the darkest side you see that the solution that has been dispensed ends at 10 okay so that is where you pick your correct answer from so here we are to provide uh, correct unit and then also write our number as a whole number so that is the instruction so our answer becomes 10 ml so th that is what i've also written that always measured from the darkest side of the container okay so you also provide it in the box given okay so let's go to our third question so our third question is also saying that a baby weighs 3450 gram at bed so we are to convert this weight to, to kilogram so with this question you realize that they have already provided a uh, unit for us so we are not going to provide any unit again unlike the first two questions that we just solved 
we were asked to provide our unit but with this question the unit has already been provided so when it happens like that you don't add any unit to your final answer okay so for us to convert um our grams to kilogram we are going to divide the figure by thousand so you see that below the question i've provided some sample or a hint there so if you want to convert from smallest to biggest which is mcg to mg to g kg or ml to liters then when you see such a question you are going to divide the figure by thousand no matter what so we will pick the three thousand four hundred and fifty and then divide it by thousand because we want to convert from gram to kilogram so we will convert three thousand four hundred and fifty you divide it by thousand so our answer is going to be 3.45 3.45 and as i've already mentioned we are not going to add the unit again because it's already been provided in the question all right so moving on let's go to we are going to our fourth question so with our fourth question it also says that the formula for calculating infant feed is so they have given you the formula Okay, so it's going to be like this in the exam. You are going to find it the same way. They are going to provide you the formula for you to um, look on it to solve your question. So it says that the volume of formula per feed is equal to weight in kg times meals per kg per day divided by number of feeds in 24 hours. So it goes on to say that you have the following information on a neonatal feed chart. Okay. So this is the following information. So it says meal per kg is 40 ml per kg. Weight of new net is also 1.5 kg. Feed regime is also two hourly intervals. And then the question says, what is the number of meal per feed? What is the number of ml per feed? And then our unit also has been provided already. Okay, so since they have already given you the formula, you just pick the formula and then insert in the figures. So when you go back to the formula, weight in kg, in the question, the weight in kg is weight of new needs, which is 1.5 kg. Okay, so you write that one, 1.5 kg times meal per kg per day. So meals per kg per day, that is the 40 ml per kg that they have given. So right now we have 1.5 times 40. And they are going to divide by our number of feet in 24 hours. In the question our food regime is two hourly interval so if you have been given two hourly interval they are asking you that so what would be the number of feeds in 24 hours so if you are to feed it within two hours interval within 24 hours how many feeds would you have given the child so that is going to be 12 you can as well divide 24 by 2 you get 12 so I've, I've already given the formula that to get the number of feet in 24 hours you divide 24 by 2 which is the food regime and then you get your 12 okay so that is that about this so it's going to be 1.5 times 40 divided by 12 so our answer will be 5. you will not add the unit again because it's already attached to our box provided okay so let's move on next question also says that a baby weighs 4100 gram at birth on day three the baby has lost 10 percent from the birth weight what is the weight of the baby give your answer in kg to two decimal places so if you are to understand the question it says that the baby at birth was weighing 4100 gram at birth but then on the third day the baby has lost 10 percent of that birth weight that's 4100 gram the baby has lost lost 10 percent of it so what is the weight of the baby now and we are to provide our answer in kg so first we are going to calculate 10 percent of that birth weight that was given so if you are to calculate the 10 percent of that birth weight what you get you are going to subtract it from the from the actual birth weight Okay, so in order not to confuse ourselves, let's cal calculate the 10% of the baby baby's weight at birth. So it will be 10 divided by 100 times 4,100, which is the birth weight. So with that, we are going to get 410 gram. 
So if you divide 10 by 100 times 4,100, you're going to get 410 gram. Therefore, that figure that you got, you are going back to subtract it from the baby's actual weight, the birth weight, which is the 4,100 gram. So you are going to get 3,690 gram. But then when you go back to the question, the question is telling us that we should provide our answer in kilogram and also to two decimal places. So as I've already provided the formula, if you want to convert from smallest to biggest, you divide. So now we are converting from gram to, ki to kilogram. So we are going to divide. So it's going to be 3,690 divided by 1,000. So you are going to get 3.693. And let me also remind you that when you go on the Pearson View website, you'll find that there's a calculator on the screen. So you'll be doing all your rough work on that calculator. And then you just chip in your final answer. You don't add your rough work to it. But for the sake of us learning, I've, I've showed work so that you would understand it. You also be given a notepad and a pencil so that if you if you want to just work something out, you would also go by that way. But I prefer you use the calculator on the screen. So start getting used to the calculator on the screen. It also helps you save time. Our seat question also says that convert 500 milligrams to grams. Convert 500 milligrams to grams. Please use the correct unit and write your answer to one decimal place. So we are also converting from smallest to biggest. So we are going to get 500 divided by 1000. The 1000 is always a constant figure. So it's going to be 500 divided by 1000. Here we have to add the unit because it was not provided. So we will get 0 0.5 gram. 0 0.5 gram. Assuming you were to convert from biggest to smallest, then you will multiply. But throughout this question, we are only converting from smallest to biggest. So that is how come we are only dividing. Okay, let's go to our next question. Our next question also says that a woman has been prescribed 30 milligrams of prednisolone. How many tablets should be administered? The prescribed dose is 30 milligrams. Uh, available dose is 5 milligram tablet of the prednisolone. So you just divide your prescribed dosage over your available dosage. So it will be 30 divided by 5. So our answer will be 6 tablets. Alright, so in order to avoid the longer video, I'll be pausing the numeracy here. So just subscribe so that you come back for the remaining questions. <laughs>